you beautiful people. That's my hairy hive housewife impression. It's rubbish, I know. I've already done rab reviews, so I've got to share the love. Anyway, we digress. Right, today we have got the Honda Jazz back. We gave this a full exterior detail two weeks ago. Um, it's come back as we saw in the last video. Didn't have time to do the inside, so we've got it back for a day. So we're gonna give it the full treatment inside. Before we do, however, um, I'm gonna give it a quick maintenance wash. It's been um, doing the mask for about two weeks. So we're gonna do citrus pre-wash, snow foam, and the shampoo, take it inside. I'm probably gonna slap a layer of wax on um, because previously we just put two uh, coats of sealant on. So give it a bit more protection. Um, and then we're gonna crack on with seeing um, what uh, awaits us on the inside. So quick rundown, because I know you all like to know what products I'm using. For the citrus pre-wash, I'm gonna be using BCP citrus pre-wash. For the um, snow foam, I'm going to be using a BCP Typhoon Super Foam. Reviewed both these already. And a new one for me, um, used it twice, liked it, hence why um, I'm taking it to video now, is Grumpy Detailer's Shampoo. Okay, just add water. Really, really foamy. Three buckets, one for the wheels, one for rinse water, one for the shampoo as well. Um, Alien Magic Sprayer for the um, citrus and the uh, Auto Gleam Polar Blaster Snow Foam Cannon. So I'm going to do it quickly. Um, this isn't about the outside it's on the inside so I'm going to quickly put it on fast mode get the outside done get it inside and um, where it's warm because it's a freezing December 2022 day dry it down put some wax on haven't decided which one yet and then we're going to hit the inside so good times Okay, that's it washed and dried. Use the drying towels and then use the blow dryer to get out all the water from the wing mirror, the grills and all that kind of stuff. Interesting to see actually, although it was only two weeks ago, uh, the Monster Shine Gloss Lock Sealer Glaze, we put two coatings on this, definitely made it easier to clean. Um, most of the, the, the dirt came off with the snow foam, okay, so it's sort of reduced that. Um, sort of ability for the dirt to bind to the paint, which was noticeable and still a good gloss okay on the car as well and really really impressed and um, continually impressed with this Koch Chemi Nano Magic Plastic Care. Now a lot of people um, are always looking for recommendations for faded trim and they say they put it on looks great okay and then disappears albeit two weeks no de degradation with the effect and I'm going to show you quickly um, which is really really good. Like I said on the last video you don't hear many people use this but I really really like it because it gives that natural finish and it lasts um, you know if it lasts I don't know five six seven eight weeks that's that's great a lot of them do not they give that initial well, that's really good then after a few um, sort of maintenance washes they've gone so I'm going to quickly show you um, around because um, it's always good to revisit products for longevity and all that kind of stuff so as you can see all right still um there's a bit of wetness still there but still that natural look still a great gloss on the car i know we put a lot of work into this one um but still good gloss on that 
Um, the trim where we put the um, Koch Kemi as well is really, really nice. Um, Loving these. The owner did say it was like driving a new car. Um, they actually um, could see where they were going, which was really, really good. Okay, which is nice. Now, I can't help myself. I'm going to be honest. I cannot just do... Hold on. Phone's going. Back in a sec. Right, sorry about that. Phone call. Guy wanted to know whether I've got all the kit out. He's coming up. He's going to wash his car. Good times. All right, so where was I? Yes. I can't help myself, I can't just do a maintenance wash and I know there's a lot of you detailers that will not just wash a car, they feel this compulsive urge to put something on it, whether it's a wax detail spray, um, sort of foam applied sealant or, 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 or something like that. I'm exactly the same and I'm sharing your pain. So I'm going to go give it a quick whiz round with some wax. This one from um, Hugo Brown, okay, his very, very famous wax nutter. It's, it smells divine. I, I love this guy's of wax. He's a connoisseur of wax, okay? His creative genius, the smells, the compositions of the wax is high-end stuff, you know, T1 Canorba and all the other wax additives and polymers and hybrid stuff he uses, fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a quick whiz around with this little beauty. I'll do it on fast mode because like I say, the focus of this is the inside. Um, but like ever, I like to sort of do a bit extra for the, uh, for the punter. So uh, let's give it a wax with Hugo Brown's Wax Nutter. That's it, washed and waxed. Hugo Brown Wax Nutter, um, absolute dream to use. Uh, top tip when using um, Hugo's uh, wax is less is more. So if you use a tiny, tiny bit, you're literally just putting the slightest of sort of surface finish on it, okay, with the wax. Um, I've left it quite a long time. I left it about five, 10 minutes because it is bloody cold in here, okay? And then I went and wiped it off and it came up really, really, really good. And um, the smell, the user experience is fantastic. Um, I can't say enough about Hugo's waxes, as you can tell. Another quick shout, um, I've been using these um, recently. Um, so these are um, the Grumpy uh, Detailers Grumpy Cloths, 500 GSM coral cloths. I'm not sure what the polyester polyamide mix is, but they are really, really nice. Um, effortlessly removed the wax and then used, I used another one for buffing off. Um, really, really soft. Um, and these have been through the wash already, so I know they wash well. Um, and the, sometimes when you wash them, um, these, these kind of cloths, they're not as good as they were when they're sort of straight out of the packet. Um, but these are really, really soft. So compliments where compliments are due. Um, I'll probably look to get myself a few more of these. Now I'm happy with these. And I'm always looking for the softest, softest cloth, but ones that wash well, because uh, they are, can be quite expensive. You don't want one use and then, then not be usable after that. So that's all the prep stuff done. Another coat of protection. So we've got the wax on, so it's got two um, layers of um, glaze and then the wax. That's pretty much it, okay, for the outside. Unless you get it back from maintenance wash, I might put on some spray on sealant and all that kind of stuff. So we are now going inside, which is what this video is all about. So I'm gonna give you a quick look at what job awaits us. I'll show you some tools we're gonna be using and then best we crack on. Right, quick look at what we're dealing with here. Um, just using the external light. Lots and lots of dirt in the floor mats. Um, you can see up, up there where the person's left foot sort of goes against all the plastic that's all dirty 
there's heavy sort of dirt ingrained into the dirt there as well there's staining on the seats that's just dirt i'm not suspecting anything um, unusual um, now i was going to take the seats out but my tooling can get right under there there's no real dirt under there it's just um, rubbish and dust and all that kind of stuff so i'll probably get away with it but all the plastic needs um sort of cleaned up um lots and lots of dirt in the doors all the normal stuff dashboards covered in dirt and all that kind of stuff um similar on the other side um these all need wet vaxed um they're, they're just ingrained dirt i don't see that many stains but as you can see um, just there lots and lots of dirt so it'll need a good hoover out take the mats out um lots and lots of muck so not the worst i've done um and i'm quite confident we could do a good job of this um so um hoover first mats out do the mats do the seats do the upholstery do the dash of the windows um, various ways of doing this that's the order i'm going to do this one so let's crack on Okay, so we've got a dirty car inside. Um, now, I will start with the dirty stuff first. I'm going to do all the upholstery in the seats and the hoovering and then go onto the dash and then and finish up with the glass. We'll be using a lot of stuff. I'll just quick whiz through. We've got the Business Spot Clean Pro. We've got the Titan Hoover. Um, our weapon of choice is Kochikami Polestar. Using that through the um, Alien Magic Sprayer. I'm going to be putting warm water in this. I don't load the bizzle up with a chemical i um, apply the chemical externally and just use the wet vac to inject warm water to extract the dirt and all that kind of stuff uh, we've got the dewalt with various attachments um, for the brushes um, magic erasers various sort of tools to do the glass um, magic erasers um, loads and loads of interior sprays and um, um, stuff like that so um, we're going to sort of split it up into chunks I'll do lots of fast mo I'll stop for any salient points and we'll see if we can transform the interior of this vehicle into something that you would have pleasure getting into Okay, folks, that's the car mats done, hung up to dry. Um, they've got 24 hours before the owner picks the car up. So if you're doing stuff like this, get all the wet stuff out of the way first and then crack on with the other stuff. The only reason why I did the wash first was because it's freezing outside and I want to get warm. So the rewarding bit. Now, do you think I'm weird that this gives me satisfaction? That's out of four car mats. So all through this process, all I'm looking forward to is taking this out and seeing the, the fruits of my labor. So good times. Right then, let's reload and let's do the seats. Okay, folks, that says done one. So just a quick sort of, that is a seat that hasn't been done. You can just see the, all the, I call it bum gravy, but you know what I mean. Okay, so it's dull in color. Um, and there's no sort of uniformity of color because you've got all different sort of areas where there's dirt and there's not dirt. Okay, so that's the one that we haven't done. And just walking around, there's all my gubbins enjoy doing this and that's one that, that we have done okay so it it takes the blue you can see it's it's bluer it's a fresher color There's, all them stains have gone you can just see the difference that's one that we haven't done 
that's one we have done and that'll just be left the next 24 hours to dry okay so big big difference and yes my favorite bit so this is the bum gravy you get out of one seat all that nastiness okay so from a hygiene point of view smell point of view and an aesthetic point of view doing all this effort makes a huge huge difference so we're going to empty that out um, I'll do the other seats, don't need to see me do them, and then we'll get on to the sort of floor upholstery. Okay, the seats are all done. Uh, we did the other front seat and got lots of dirt out of it, and then we moved into the back, which is a bit dirtier, and we got a lot of dirt out of that. Okay, so very, very rewarding. We're now gonna go into the boot area that um, I believe they used to, um, um, for dogs jumping in and uh, dog transportation purposes. There's a lot, and lo a lot of dog hairs in there. So we're gonna remove the actual floor panel, um, hit it with Polestar, agitate it with a drill brush and use the extraction uh, machine to get um, all the dirt out. We're gonna use this little tool here um, for removing dog hair. The, this one is, it removes dog hair. Okay, the stiction of the rubber pulls the dog hairs out, but it also lifts the fibers. So when you go for your after hoover, um, it's getting even more dirt out. Really, really like this. Can't remember where I got this from, but someone will know. If you do know, um, post a um, comment, but I really, really like this one. Lots on the market, but I've sort of settled on this one. Um, we're then going to uh, protect the fabric with um, Alien Magic Fabric Pro um, just to offer some protection for the fabric. Been using that for quite a long time. And then we're going to hit, that was close, then we're going to hit the sort of side panels or the plastic and the inside of the boot, which with Koch Kemi Multi Interior Cleaner, really, really potent stuff. In fact, that's going to be using for pretty much the whole of the interior when we come on to do the front end. Um, and then I'm going to offer some protection with Tenzi Pro Detailing Cockpit Care, which is the matte effect anti-static. The beauty of this is it doesn't smear and it leaves a fresh smell. Um, been using this for quite some time um, and sort of keep coming back to it. So all is good. So a couple of fast um, movies um, and we'll see how we get on and we'll then move into the main cabin um, and have some fun. done did you see the amount of dirt that came out of that floor panel 
Um, I love those fast mows where you sort of see the um, drill brush go up, down, left, right, and then suck it and see all the dirt coming out. Really, really like that one. I like watching on other people's reviews, so I do it myself. Okay, moving into the main cockpit area. Now, off camera, I have hoovered the footwells and used the drill brush with a pole star. All right, you've seen enough of that kind of action. Um, used um, multiple tools. I'll go and get them now. Okay, so use various sizes of medium, big drill brush and that sort of drill brush piece to get into the smaller areas. Um, worth investing in a couple of um, sort of different sizes. I've found if you use a drill, drill, big drill brush, you can't get into the um, areas and do a proper job. So the, the carpets are all done. Um, the main thing now is to get the sort of dash um, dashboards, all the plastics, um, nice and clean and protected. Then we'll finish off with the glass. Um, now, um, I am going to use, when we've finished, um, on the fabric, on the seats, the Alien Magic Fabric Pro, okay? Um, and I'm going to do that um, right, right at the end. This car's getting left overnight, so it'll have time to impregnate the fabric and dry before the owner picks it up tomorrow. Um, and all the plastic, once again, we're going to use Koch Chemi Multi-Interior Cleaner, and then we'll go on for some protection on the cockpit care. Haven't decided what I'm going to use as a glass cleaner yet, uh, because I've got about 10, um, but I'm sure you'll find out shortly. So we're going to hit the inside now. Okay folks, so the inside is pretty much done. One, one of the final sort of um, finishing touches I like doing is you've cleaned the paint, you clean the inside. Something sort of lets it down is sometimes rubber. Now I know you can get rubber dressings and, and all that kind of stuff, but what I use um, to cover up this sort of white effect um, is a silicon spray. This one's from Tenzi. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. What we're trying to do is offer some protection, especially through the winter, but we're looking at, hope you can see it, all that whiteness on the rubber. Now what you can do is you can use something like this, which is obviously good for the stop things perishing. And all I do is spray some on a cloth. So you don't want slippy silicon going everywhere. And then just gently rub it across the rubber. And the difference is great aesthetically and I know I'm putting some protection into this rubber just spend a bit of time so you don't miss anything but 
then if I show you, I'll take my glove off actually, it's really slippy this stuff. Then get your rubber. Looking darkened, bit of a gloss and the white's gone and it's offering some protection. So um, I'm gonna do the rest of the car like this. It only takes a few minutes. Uh, you can use this stuff on sort of rubber hoses and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's just really another finishing touch uh, that takes minutes, but really, really does make a big difference. Final job really, cleaning the glass. Now I've gone around the outside and done the outside already. Just got to do the inside. Now the way I do inside, and it's just my personal way, is I've sort of struggled with glass cleaners for smearing around, okay? So what I do is I will use, I will go around, especially on the inside to get rid of that film, IPA or a panel wipe with kitchen roll. Spray it on, wipe it off, dirt, forget. Get some new um, kitchen roll, spray it on dirt. You're constantly taking the dirt away from the windscreen. Otherwise, essentially, if you're doing it in a one hit, spray it on, wipe it round, and even buff it off the second, you will not be re removing the majority of uh, the, the sort of composition of all that film. Okay, so spray on, remove. Got, my, got rid of most of the, the dirt, and then I'm gonna use mild deep vision. Okay, but like I said, on the outside. However, exciting times. I've got a new toy to play with. This is, Invisible Glass, number one selling glass cleaning tools. It's one of those tools that helps you get into the corner. Reach and clean tool. It comes with some pads as well, so I'm gonna use this. It's gonna take about 10 minutes to build it up. It's gonna take me about 20 minutes to get into it. I'll do that off camera. Okay, um, I'm gonna, um, fast moment, be going around with the IPA, just getting rid of that, that film. Then I'm gonna go on to the glass cleaning um, side using the Mild Deep Vision and my new die. Okay, so that's first play with this. Now, I actually quite like it. You get two of these um, covers, so one for on, one for off. Um, the good thing about this is you can, you, I was a bit cautious that it's not gonna be applying as, um, enough uh, power, okay? But this is flexible, so it naturally adjusts the contours of the wind, off the windscreen. And this is actually really strong, so you can really get in there. 
that, that edge there, brilliant for getting into the corners and down below at the bottom. It takes a bit of sort of ergonomic practice for you to adjust your angle, so I was a bit clumsy, but it was my first ever time, and really, really liked it. Um, am I gonna be using this again? Definitely. Um, I just think it makes it so much easier. So one job I used to hate, it's like you, you contortionist, but this definitely makes it easier um, for applying your um, um, glass cleaner. What I did notice is there are some wiper scratches and some little scratches, so I'm not gonna do it this time, but I'm gonna ask for this back sometime in the future. I'm gonna hit it with some Seri Glass, which is a Seri Moxide based product, and a rayon pad as well. Um, and I'll probably do a tutorial on glass cleaning, so we're gonna um, try and get rid of all the, the very, very fine scratches on this windscreen. I've done it before, I have a reasonable, uh, good degree of success. Um, nothing, you know, you're not gonna remove um, deep scratches, but just those sort of wiper arm marks um, that just seem to stay there these two should do a good trick so that's something for the future so that is the glass done right folks that is the car done inside and out so maintenance wash all the normal process uh, we applied the hugo brown and um, wax nutter the car is gleaming on the outside love it the headlamps we've done previously really really good inside which was the main focus of this video took a lot of time okay we have extracted a lot of dirt from all the upholstery the seats and um, i've gone through the re roof liners with polestar just wiping um, rinsing the cloth wiping again um, the dashboard's been done it's been clean it's protected Every bit of fabric has had Alien Magic Fabrigard put on, okay, so that's drying at the moment. There are a few um, sort of water spots where it sort of leaked out the trigger, that was my fault. Um, so we're gonna have a look around the car. It is inside, it's, outside, it's dark outside. Um, glass is clean. We are gonna come back and do the um, glass scratches. Um, I'll use that as a, a tutorial and a um, product review as well. Um, but absolutely brilliant, really, really happy. 15-year-old um, car, I don't think you're gonna get it much better than that. And it just shows you even with an older car, what you can do and everything I've done in this video um, you could pretty much do at home um, I, I deliberately didn't use a steamer because not everyone's got one so it was lit literally interior detailing and um, sort of um, a cleaner with brushes and cloths so and you can do it okay um, and, and that is it so I hope you enjoyed it and um, we'll probably get this car back at some point um, still got to do some work on the wheels and, and the, the windscreen as well um, but I hope it shows up on the GoPro really really nice so I'm gonna play some music We'll have a spin around, open the doors, I'll shine the torch in because it is dark so you can get an idea of what we've done. Um, and I hope that owner is happy, so good times. Oh, I forgot, I always forget one thing. Let's have a quick look at it beforehand. 